piloted driving at Audi started pretty early. The technical system takes over the responsibility for the driving task. Piloted driving is one of the most important development areas for us. Everything started with an Audi TTS on the Salt Lakes. The next challenge was to race the Pikes Peak, a very famous racetrack in the US. We went on with parking systems. Our newest system will be the Staupilot. And starting from this history, we're now extending this and doing the racing on Hockenheim Ring and in Oschersleben. We took a basic RS7 and then we added the intelligence to the car. The RS7 drives on the level of a race pilot. We have the most sporty piloted car in the world.
These days we're at the Hockenheim Ring to test the new Audi RS7 race concept vehicle where we're doing piloted driving at really cutting edge dynamics over the Hockenheim Ring. Yeah, we have a very special challenge in this, in this project. We will do an automatic run at the DTM Seasons Final with this car. And uh, at this Seasons Final, the car will do an automatic lap without any driver in it. So it will run in front of a lot of people and big audience and just perform the lap on its own. We put a lot of effort in the car and the car is really able to also cope with situations that it was not directly taught. So it handles unexpected things very well. At Audi, we've got a history in this, basically starting with the TTS and uh, the race on Pikes Peak, the race in the desert. But still, this really adds another inch to the, to, the, to the margin. We added a couple of computers and controllers to the car. We added a little bit of intelligence and algorithms to the cars. And what is very important, we added some sensors to the car because the car needs to perceive its environment. It needs to know where it is on the racetrack and where it has to go. Um, if, you, if you drive in the car, that's really amazing to see how it really handles and how it manages all the situations. So that is also fun during developing. And the other thing is it's cutting edge in basically every thing that we do. It's cutting edge in terms of dynamics. It's cutting edge in terms of radio systems and handling the event in front of that many people. So a really challenging project. The car will be at a top speed, for example, at around 240 kilometers an hour. So that is basically what the RS7 can do on a racetrack like Hockenheim. Uh, we're going into the curves, the cornering, just like a professional race driver. So, for example, we have lateral accelerations of more than 1G.